Hello everybody and welcome to the class today. In our previous classes, we have done a lot of things. We have done Ageru, Morau, Sashi Ageru and Itadaku. And also last time, we did about Shogatsu. We learnt about this very nice festival in Japan, Oshogatsu. We will talk about another very interesting and very popular festival of Japan. And of course, we will do something related to Ageru, Sashi Ageru, Itadaku and Morau and something else as well. In our previous class, we did Kureru and Kudasaru. You can practice it now with these words here. Otosan, Sensei, Okane, Jisho, Hon. And of course, you have Kureru and Kudasaru here. So you can make different combinations. For example, Otosan wa Watashi ni Hon o kuremashita. So obviously, you can see when someone gives something to you, you place yourself, your position, where it is, it's lower and thus kureru and over here with kudasaru, it is humble, you are accepting something very, very humbly from someone who is senior to you or older in age position, rank and thus sensei wa watashi ni jisho o kure mashita. So well, you can use these over here, you can see oto san wa watashi ni toke o kure mashita and sensei wa watashi ni jibiki or Jisho o kure mashita. So, well, you can use kureru and kudasaru in this manner. Now, I am sure now you have understood all the six agemas, moraimas, itadakimas, sashi agemas, kuremas, and kudasai mas. So, please try to practice it with your friends, with your partner and please whenever you are practicing, do it loudly. Now in one of our previous lessons, we did Thai form, verb plus Thai means I want to do something, whatever the verb is saying. Well, negative is Thaku Nai, I do not want to do as the verb is saying. For example, Watashi wa Gyunyu o nomitaku nai. Watashi wa wine o nomitaku nai. Watashi wa keiki o tabetaku nai. So, well, we will do takunai over here. There is a small conversation between Otosan, Okasan, and Kodomo. And let us see what they are saying. Nani o tabemashou ka? Watashi wa tempura o tabetai. Kino tabeta kara ima tabeta kunai. Nani o tabemasu ka? Spaghetti o tabetai. Ja, spaghetti o tabemashou. I'm sure this is understood. Over here, tempura is a new word. Tempura is a Japanese dish, a very popular dish in Japan. And generally, foreigners love this dish very much. So, well, nani o tabemashou ka? What shall we have? Watashi wa tempura o tabetai. I want to have tempura, is what the mother says. Kino tabeta kara ima tabeta kunai. So, the kodomo is saying, child is saying, I had it yesterday, so I do not want to have it now. Nani o tabemasu ka? Spaghetti o tabetai. Ja, spaghetti o tabemashou. So, let us all have spaghetti. So, you can replace tabemas with any other verb that you want. It could be a different situation completely. 
you could replace it with nomimas and then have the conversation. Over here you could replace tempura with pizza, you could say soba, indoriori, burger or baga as it is said in Japanese, udon or pasta. Soba and udon are two Japanese dishes where soba is thin noodles and udon is very, very thick noodles in clear soup. And then you can have this conversation, practice it with your partner. It is a simple conversation, easy to do and learn. Now, we have some pictures for you over here and let us see what the pictures are all about. You can see someone on the phone and you have to practice taku nai that is I do not want to do whatever the verb is saying. So well then wa oshitaku nai. Now what is this person doing over here? Playing so asobitaku nai, asobitaku nai. Then we have these two people talking hanashitaku nai or it could also be hanashi tai depending on what you want to say. Gentleman is relaxing over here. So what is the verb? Can you tell me the verb? Well, it is yasumitai or yasumitaku nai. I do not want to relax or I want to relax or take a break. Then someone is just about to have tea. Well, kohi o nomitai or nomitaku nai. And then we have someone just about to start eating. So well, what is the verb for eating? Tabetai, tabemas and gohano tabetai or tabetaku nai, whichever way you want to take. So you can practice like this all other verbs with or without pictures. You can practice saying whatever the verb in Thai form and in takunai form with your partner. You could ask asobitai desu ka? Iie ima asobitaku nai or ima isogashi kara asobitaku nai. So there is a small expression over here. You have Tanaka san and Mariko san and Tanaka san is giving something to Mariko san. What is the expression? Ano Sumaranai mono desu ga meshiagatte kudasai. Ano, this is when you just start a conversation. Sumaranai means something very small, it is a small thing. So, when you give a present to someone, however big it may be, it is always sumaranai mono desu ga. It is a small thing, but please meshiagatte kudasai. So, meshiagarimas is polite for tabemas and thus this is a cake. So, meshiagatte kudasai. Please have it. Please eat it. And the reply is arigato gozaimashita. So, please remember whenever you visit someone, you take a present and when you give the present, this is the phrase to be used. Sumaranai mono desu ga meshiagatte kudasai. Now, I have been doing katakana with you. We have been practicing katakana, how to write katakana. We will do that again. Some we have done, some we have to do. Let us see what we have here today. Well, we have the ka series here and you can see how it is written, how slanting it is, where to put your pen first and how to make the stroke, how angular it is, ka and you can see, well then we have 
key. The first one is small, the second one is a little longer and then it is straight. Key, ku and remember it does not touch like this, it is just halfway. Ku and then we have K and the stroke order is important. So, please do not forget the stroke order. Remember the stroke order K and then we have a simple ko after that. So, ko is 1 and 2 and not 1 and 2 like this. Please remember that is also important for all kanji characters also. This stroke is 1. So, now you can see it is right here in front all the stroke order is given properly. Now, as we always do after our practice of syllables of katakana and hiragana, we do kanji characters. So, well let us see what we have here today. We have kau which is to buy. Kau is a simple character. We have done I, if you remember, like this. So, well, turn it 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Then we have another I over here 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then we have 2. lines over here in the end which makes it cow. So, let us see how many strokes to it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then we have 11 and 12. So, we have 12 strokes to this character which is cow. Let us see what is the next one. It is takai or ko. Well, there are more readings to this character kau, but we will only do one reading over here for the time being to buy, which is kau. The second character that we have over here is takai. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, this is a 10 stroke character you can see over here takai. As you can see it is 10 strokes, I will write it once again for you. Once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. It is a 10 stroke character meaning takai meaning high meaning expensive. Now, how is how have these characters come into being is you can see from here when you go shopping you have a small bag in hand generally and you have fish in it. So, well all the net over here, all this over here, all this over here is from the bag which has a net and you can see a fish in it. That is how kai mas has come into being and you can see the stroke order over here, how it is to be made. Then we have takai and you can see from the house here how takai has come into being. Well, in olden times generally huts were there and anybody having a room on top of the house would be 
a considered a big house. So, well that is how Takai came into being. A double storied house was considered very very big large in ancient times. So, that is how Takai height or expensive came into being. The stroke order is given over here. You can practice it at home. Now, I have been doing festivals of Japan with you, important festivals, interesting festivals and today also I have something very interesting. This festival is a community festival, is a social festival, it has lot of importance and it is practiced by young and old since ancient times and is still practiced here in Japan even now. So, well what is the festival? Let us see. Bean throwing festival or setsubun. So, you can repeat it after me. It is setsubun or the bean throwing festival. Of course, you will know why it is called the bean throwing festival. Setsubun is actually change of season. Setsubun marks the marks the change, marks the period or time when the season changes from maybe winter to, to spring or spring to summer or summer to winter again or autumn and then autumn to winter. So, in ancient times this Setsubun was celebrated four times in a year, but now it has somehow gotten associated with springtime only and it is celebrated only in springtime. Why I have taken up Setsubun is because we did Shogatsu last time which is in January which is the first of January and now Setsubun which is springtime or just a day before spring is in February. It is celebrated in February, generally falling now on the 3rd or the 4th of February. So, you can read a lot of things over here, lot of things are written. It is also called Mamemaki and on this day roasted soya bean is thrown outside of the house uh, and something is chanted. The words that are chanted are Oni wa soto and fuku wa uchi. This is chanted all the time and you just take soya beans, roasted soya beans in a bowl and you throw it outside of your house. Now, oni means a demon or evil and soto means outside, fuku means good fortune and uchi means house as you have already done. So, oni wa soto means to get rid of all the evil, all the negativity, all the negative feelings, negativity of the house, all uh, ill fortune from the house and throw it outside and get all good fortune, all positivity in the house. Fuku means positivity, Fuku means good fortune. So, all is given over here, everything is listed and this was actually celebrated by all in ancient times and the master of the house, the lord of the house would actually on Setsubun day take some mame, go to the shrine, pray to the gods and then come and throw these mame, come and throw these soya beans out of the house and it would be a feeling of happiness. Why? Because after a harsh winter, 
people would be meeting each other, people would be celebrating, they would be enjoying all the food once again, the sunshine once again and there would be general festivity and gaiety around. So well that is exactly what was done at that time and one interesting thing that was custom that was followed or practice that was done was it was believed that Oni or the demons do not like sardines because it smells a lot and thus sardine heads were roasted sardine heads were placed outside of the house to ward off evil to keep evil away to keep ill fortune away from the house and to to welcome positivity to welcome good fortune in the house so this is how it was placed it was kept in japan it was decorated like this to ward off evil basically all diseases from the house would be removed by doing this the houses were cleaned at that time and generally it is as we can understand generally change of season brings diseases brings problems so at that time to keep your house clean to clean up to to do all kinds of things like this would be actually very good for the people of the house now during during uh, setsubun or on that day generally fortune beans as these beans are called ehomaki are these uh, rolls are made these beans are roasted they are eaten and they are enjoyed by all and especially these sardines are these fish are eaten and enjoyed by the family and of course as you can see fortune beans as they are called bring good luck it is customary to eat roasted soya beans for each year of one's life and one for good luck and eating sushi rolls is also a big big custom on Setsubun day. Now important part over here is that these rolls, these rice rolls or sushi as they are called are eaten that day sitting in the direction of the god of fortune and happiness. You face the direction where the god of happiness and fortune is and you eat these rolls thinking that good fortune will come to you. Children throw roasted soya beans like this at each other and try to sort of play and enjoy chanting all the time fortune in and evil out and of course what the children do is that one person in the family could be wearing a, a demon's mask or an evil mask and all the others would be running around the house throwing beans at him and sort of playing in this manner. So it is basically a community feeling of enjoyment, of gaiety, of being together, just enjoy being together and that happiness is what is shown over here in this picture. Well, we have been talking about Oni all the time and that Oni is bad and evil and negative and all the time very grumpy. So well, there is a small kotowaza or a proverb or a saying in Japan and of course, we all know that saying that appearances can be deceptive and even stern looking people, very mean looking people, bad people also have a kind spot in their heart. They can also be very, very kind. So the saying is Oni no me ni mo namida ga aru. Namida is tears. So Oni no me, me means eyes, ni namida ga aru. Even Onis can cry, even demons can cry, even demons have a good, good spot somewhere in their heart. They can, they can be nice once in a while. So generally appearances can be deceptive. It is not necessary that all the time people who are looking very mean or looking very stern or angry are all the time very, very mean or negative. So well, this was one, one uh, saying for the Oni. We have been talking about Oni so much. So well, that is what it is. And in the end, we have Shukudai for you. My work is over. 
I have taught you whatever we were supposed to do in this lesson. Now it is your time to practice what has been taught. So, there is shukudai for you, there is work for you. Circle the correct spellings and then we have these kanji characters over here. Some pictures for you, just match kanji characters with the pictures given. And then the words are given over here, you have to see and tick the correct reading given. Well, let us see what else do we have. Make proper questions to fit the answers given below. So, you have to read the small kaiva and read the answer and then write the question word over here and fill in the blanks with appropriate verbs or verb forms. Now, a couple of pictures are given, look at the pictures carefully and then it is a listening comprehension. So, please listen to what is being said and then answer the questions. So, well let us see what it is. Kore wa dango desu. Kore mo dango desu. Dango wa nihon no yume na tabemono desu. Kodomo tachi mo otona mo dango ga daisuki desu. Dango wa amakute oishii tabemono desu. Nihon ni iro iro na dango ga arimasu. Tatoeba amai dango, kuri no dango, Yuki dango, hanami dango, goma dango. Hanami dango wa hanami no toki ni tsukurimasu. Watashi wa kino gakko no shokudo de tomodachi to issho ni oishi dango o tabemashita. Oishikatta kara watashi tachi wa ashita mo dango o tabemasu. So, well this is a small listening comprehension. So, please listen to it carefully and then answer the questions given over here. The new words used in the comprehension listening passage are listed over here with the meanings which will help you answer these questions and whatever you are not able to answer find difficult, we will do it in our next lesson. So, well now you can practice at home and till our next lesson. Thank you very much. Arigatou gozaimasu. Minasan mata aimashou.